If you've created an info product, like an ebook, a course, a workshop, something like that, you try to figure out how you can make it a little bit more valuable so that you can maybe increase the price, make a little bit more money. One of the best things that you can do to accomplish that is to create a workbook to go along with the info product. People love workbooks as they're learning. They have insights, they have takeaways, they have tasks that they might want to complete. They might have notes they want to write down. And so including a workbook that kind of follows along with the content of your digital product is going to be really helpful to them. If it's helpful to them, that's value. So I want to show you a really simple way to create a workbook that is not going to require you to design anything really. It's going to be something that they can use online. They can just edit it digitally and it's going to look nice. So I want to share with you a study guide, which is basically a workbook that go, that I created that goes along with um, the book, The Big Leap. The Big Leap is a great book. We're reading it in Billionaire Maker Society. And so as we're reading it, we're using the study guide to make sure that like we're remembering all the things that we read. We're doing all those little exercises and tasks that are within the book. And so the study guide is how we're going to do that. Uh, and this was so easy to create. We are in Google Docs, okay? But one of the big things for me is I don't, I don't want to print anything out ever and write in it. I want to be able to look at it online and type. And so the way that I always do my workbooks, or in this case, study guide, is I'll, I'll do it in Google Docs. And rather than printing it out, what I add is so simple, these boxes here. This is just a table. And you can type in it. And it will expand as far as you want it to. This is the actual study guide. I hope no one's actually in it right now. Um, so you can, you can use these boxes to just document all of your thoughts. And it's so super simple to add this to your, to your Google Docs. It's insert table. And the table you want is just one, one single cell table. And you're going to get this. Now, if somebody wanted to print this out, they could save it as a PDF and certainly do that. Um, and they'll have some space here to, to write. But I always encourage to fill it out digitally, especially something like this, where you're going to be probably copy and pasting from the book. That is the simplest way to make a workbook that is going to allow your audience to edit it, add to it. It's so simple to do. It's Google Docs, so everybody has it. And then when it comes time to share this, you're just going to go share. Anyone with the link can view. You copy the link. And then the only thing you want to change, when you do go to paste it, you're going to want to just add, I'm going to show you here, and I'm going to show you here in notes. You're just going to change this edit to copy. And then when they open this, let me just, when they click that link to open it, what's going to happen is... They're going to get this prompt to make a copy. So now they can make a copy of that guide or workbook that you created. And it's their own. They can edit it. They can type in it. They can put their notes in it. It's the simplest, least technically challenging. And I think technically challenging, it's the least technically challenging for you to do. But I also feel like it's the least challenging for your audience to do. I think using Google Docs means pretty much everybody's going to be able to access it without too much trouble. And that's really important because you actually want people to use these things and you don't want them to be, you know, to have any type of technical difficulties with them. So try that. If you've got an ebook, a workshop, a guide, a, a course that you want to make, you know, you want to add something at, to it as a companion, try making a workbook or study guide to go along with it.